day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we are looking at the last beer that was sent to me by Steve from BC. This is Black Kettle's IPA. So Black Kettle IPA. 6.4% uh, alcohol by volume. Pale malt, crystal malt, citrus, and floral hops. Okay. I like citrus hops, not too big on floral hops, so uh, we're 50-50 we're there. Oh, it smells delightful. Yeah, that was an angry pour. I was trying to do it really slowly too, but this cup is just so long that it's an angry pour. Um, but a beautiful, beautiful ruby red color. That head is a beautiful color as well. So what do we have here? Yeah. A beautiful reddish hue to it. Um, probably more an amber hue. It looked reddish from far away, but it's more an amber hue. Off white head, big bubbles. Looks great. And smells divine. I wasn't a big fan of the other uh the other beer from Black Kettle that was sent to me, but um this one smells divine. Uh mango, orange. Uh, grapefruit, some lemon. Almost a bit of, uh... Almost a bit of the, 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 the passion fruit in there, too. This actually smells a lot like, uh... High Road Brewing's Bronin. Which does smell quite akin to, uh... To The Alchemist. Well... Let's try it. Cheers, boys and squirrels. Okay. Actually, that's really nice. Lots of citrus just explodes in your mouth with this key. This is kind of like a poor man's uh, Bronin, or a poor man's Alchemist, or a poor man's any really good um, American Pale Ale, like really good citrusy American Pale Ale, in that it has all the flavors, but almost no bitterness, which makes it actually more approachable and might actually make it the better choice. Yeah, there is some bitterness, there is some residual bitterness, but compared to other APAs and IPAs and everything else out there, there is nothing. I mean, it took me four sips before I got any bitterness at all. And in those four sips, I was just getting a beautiful fruitiness. Beautiful orange, beautiful mango, beautiful a beautiful grapefruit. And then the bitterness started coming in. It was a little floral and very resiny. It was almost like the, uh, the skins of said fruits mentioned. Except for a mango, I've never tried to bite a mango skin. Don't know what a mango skin tastes like, but yeah, it it has that like bitterness that an orange, orange skin would give that uh, oily bitterness that just sits on the back of the palate. I really enjoy this. <sighs> like, it's nothing special. But it is special at the same time. Excuse me, I would give that... Oh, I would easily give that a... Uh, a 775 out of 10. It's just really tasty. Thank you, Steve. 
Thank you, Black Kettle. Bye.